Friends, today is Monday, the 3rd of August. We're in the cathedral early in the morning. It's my day off, so I'm looking a little more casual as we take a look at today's gospel. You know, interestingly, the Sunday gospel and these daily readings are kind of in sync with each other, both from the gospel of Matthew Sunday, we had the reading of the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000. The feeding of the 5,000, Jesus takes five loaves, two fish, multiplies them, and feeds a crowd of more than 5,000 because it includes women and children too. And today, we have the passage that immediately follows. And even as the disciples and the feeding of the, of the 5,000 are a bit um, unbelieving in the sense that they tell Jesus to dismiss the crowds so they can get some food. And Jesus says to them, give them some food yourselves. And immediately they resist. Not knowing that when Jesus asks us something, he gives us the power and working with him, with his power, something good will take place. We don't have to simply depend on ourselves. And when we do, as in our gospel today, we sink into the water. Let's take a look at that gospel today. It's the Jesus walking on water. It's after this feeding of the 5,000 and Jesus sends the disciples, he says, he made them get into a boat and proceed him to the other side while he goes off in prayer. There's already a mystical touch to this reading. Jesus off by himself to pray, pray to the Father, their time together. And meanwhile, he sends the disciples off. And it's dark, it's evening. And it says that they're only a few miles offshore, but a big storm, a storm comes up, rocks the boat. It's dark and they're fearful. And then it says at the fourth watch, the fourth one, at the darkest time of night, three, just before sunrise, three in the morning or so, they look out and they see that Jesus is coming toward them. He came toward them walking on the sea. And we call this a theophany, a theophany, a manifestation of God's power. Somehow the veil lifted so that we see clearly who Jesus is, a theophany. And they see him walking on the water. And of course, they are terrified. <clears throat> Their reaction to this theophany is fear. Their faith is still weak fear and they say it's a ghost it's a ghost and Jesus in response says to them take courage it is I do not be afraid take courage it is I do not be afraid that phrase it is I is very important in the Greek ego me just two little words but whenever those two words are used and can be translated simply, I am, it is I, I am, it's the name of Yahweh, Yahweh revealed to Moses in the burning bush. When Moses asked to hear the name, give the name, give me your name, Yahweh responds, I am who I am. And thus, when we see that here in the Gospel of Matthew, it's part of the theophany, the recognition of Jesus as divine. And once Jesus says that, Peter, always bold, Peter in the boat, and I should mention that whenever a boat is mentioned in these Gospels, it means the church. The church huddled together in that boat, a storm tossing it. And Peter boldly says to him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And Jesus simply says, come. And emboldened with that command. And with the help of the Lord, Peter gets out of the boat and walks towards Jesus on the water. The miracle 
a miracle continues, sharing in that theophany of Jesus. Peter walks toward him, and with his eyes focused on the Lord, he could walk on water. But then it says the wind and the storm, he turned away and looked towards the wind and storm. And whenever we turn from the Lord, the power is not with us. And Peter begins to sink and the fear once again returns. But even then, as Peter shouts out, Lord, save me, the hand of Jesus stretches out, takes him, pulls him forward. In other words, Peter is not left to drown, and nor are we in that bark, facing the daily storms and difficulty, even as we do today. The Lord is there with outstretched arm. He will not let us drown. And eventually, of course, the boat arrives safely at shore. Wonderful story. Trust in the Lord, the power of God, the power of God in us when we look towards him and reach toward him. And he reaches towards us and will not let us drown. Hold that thought, and we'll see you tomorrow.